Welcome back everyone, I'm Kplays Games. this is EVE Online and today we're carrying on with our Galente level 4 epic arc. In the previous episode we started the epic arc, we damn near had our tank broken by the last mission we did which was absolutely brutal. If we had not been in a Vargur punching out 2,500 DPS we probably would have at least gone into armour and if not lost the ship. We were hit extremely hard by a very large fleet of bad guys. So let's just crack on with what we're doing, shall we? Okay, we're here in the agent station. We've just handed in the previous mission and we're ready to get the next one. And we have been given a choice. And the choice here is to stay in high sec or to go to low sec. This has absolutely no bearing on the outcome of the epic arc or the rewards you get. So I'm going to stay in high sec, obviously. And we're being sent eight jumps away to another agent. So let's accept this choice. And we're getting paid a million isk plus another 900,000 just for doing this. So I shall meet you there. Orb drive active. Okay, we made it to the mission system nice and safe and sound. And we're on the way to the agent at this beacon right here. Lots of intelligence gathering stuff here because we've been handed over to an intelligence agent and let's talk to them. And our agent introduces us to the next mission called Poor Man Shakedown and the agent says, no time for small talk. We have a very serious situation on our hands and I need the utmost discretion from you. That kid may be a goner if we don't act fast. Unfortunately, we do not know much about this Pator 6 gang, except for a few rumblings here and there. A lot of pirates use this area as a haven. Most of them are small time criminals, no more than thugs looking for an easy mark. The Serpentists have some hold in this area, although I doubt we're looking at any sort of leech into the underbelly of the booster industry. No, this looks suspicious and not like Serpentis at all. This sounds personal, or at least desperate. Alright, so it looks like we'll be fishing for information. Since it was some Mimitar thugs that took the Senator's kid, I guess we'll pound some Matari heads in first. This region is crawling with those people. I don't know who's a bigger drainer in the Federation, the criminals or the Mimitar. Anyway, there's a colony of them in the Sharma route. Go there and start shooting up buildings. Hopefully that'll scare up some leads for us. If not, well, we'll have fewer Matari clogging up the Federation resources. Frankly, I'm fine with that. Well, she's lovely, isn't she? It's only one sys- no, two systems across. And we're getting paid 7 million isk for this, plus another 1.3 if we do it within 6 hours. So let's accept. And on the way, we shall reload to okay. Fusion. Active. Considering we're shooting at Minmitar. And if we get jumped by a great big fleet, we'll very quickly reload to hell. Because we
in the previous episode was minus 0 0.002 to Minmatar because we killed one of their ship well we killed quite a lot of their ships and as I said you only get penalised for the largest ship you kill every 10 to 15 minutes so that's fine if you kill everything quickly we'll only take one standing hit oh I might as well have a look in the wrecks they're not all dropping stuff so I'm assuming it's not going to be navy tags that we're going to get but we'll have a look what, what they have got and we'll lock up the next micro colony and we'll destroy that with a single click and we'll get the next lot of guys locked up yep garbage loot in there garbage loot in there that's fine we were kind of expecting that and we'll start attacking the next lot and there's another wreck for us here this has been an absolute cakewalk so far but then it is only green crude ships in, in pretty bad repair as well by the looks of them almost good loot there but not quite okay no one's given us any information on a gate key so we'll just keep destroying these micro colonies We would if I had targeted the correct thing. That's what we want. The micro colony, not the bunker. Thank you. We've been finding an awful lot of these Meter 4 Arbalest light missile launchers. Probably why they're not worth very much anymore. Because they're too common. And here's the next wave of bad guys. Nothing really testing us at all on this mission. At least not yet. Aha. Uh -huh. Now that looks important. So as soon as Bastion's finished, we'll fly over and grab that. And we'll just approach it now actually. Absolute garbage loot. Terrible stuff. And we'll just approach the acceleration gate. We'll reload the guns, because I'm sure we're going to do more fighting in the next room. I'm not sure if these bunkers will drop anything. If it does, it'll just be NPC trade goods. So feel free to blow them up. There's the gate key. Thank you very much. So let's just blaze through the gate with the micro warp drive. Turn the shield off. Let the capacitor regenerate a little bit. Not the shield hard now, just the shield, thank you. Warp drive active. Okay, here we go, on to room two. in the room and the agent has popped back up and she says it looks like the elder is also hiding that's the leader of the colony destroy some of those structures to smoke him out and we're being given a handy hint by this that says we need to destroy whatever that is so we'll just right click it from here and lock it up and it's right on top of us so we'll just well not right on top it's well within weapon range so we'll just pop the bastion and destroy it very very quickly there's the elder here's their battleships i think we'll take out the battleships first turn the shield tank back on there's a cargo container there let's have a look in there yeah these battleships are going down fairly easily no loot in that one though There are more micro colonies here. I'm assuming that if we destroy them, then more defenders will appear. There is loot in that one, so we'll have a look. And then we'll kill the elder. You can't really be bothered to 
trigger all the defender spawns? Well, just generic loot in there, absolute garbage. Absolute garbage in there. Okay, and we finally get a message from the Minmatar saying, I don't know why you're attacking us. We don't know anything. If you want information, then go to the underground circus. That's where the low lights are, not here in a simple shanty town like ours. Well, that's all you had to say. Jeez. Now I need to go back to the agent. So I shall meet you there. Okay, we've returned to the agent. Let's tell them what happened. And Aiden says, even though I feel we can't trust any information from the Matari, they are our only lead. The underground circus is a ruthless place, a stain in our region's image, but it's our only choice. So let's request mission and let's dive into the circus. And she says, the underground circus represents everything wrong with her federation, the exploitation of personal liberties for the sick desires of depraved citizens. True Galente have respect for themselves and treat their freedom with dignity, respect and class. I should have known that the circus would have had something to do with this kidnapping business. Children are commodities in a dump like that. Looks like it's time for us to bring in the ringmaster, the owner slash operator of the underground circus. Don't let her name fool you, she's ruthless, cunning and manipulative. I've worked with her before, back when she was a legitimate businesswoman. She's degraded into a broker of sin and filth, a mockery of what she once was. Find her and bring her to me. With a bit of heavy questioning, we'll get the right information from her. Okay, so it's in the next system over, which is nice. And we're being tasked with bringing back the ringmaster. And if we click on her image, we get a little bit of blurb. A strong, lithe Jin Mei, that is a bloodline of the Galente, scantily clad and badly bruised. She refuses to take the feminine name of her position, preferring the masculine Ringmaster, more disconcerting to authorities. Though defeated, she smiles constantly, her eyes burning with something akin to desire and yet at the same time a cold, bitter hatred. Right, we're getting paid 5 million for this, another 1.7 if you do it within 6 hours. A little bit of blurb about the Underground Circus, I'm not going to read that out. Feel free to pause and read it. That's long enough, let's click accept and get on with this. Orb drive active. Now I have no idea if we're going to be fighting Minmatar again or not, so I'll just reload to Phase Plasma, which is the multi-purpose because it does kinetic and thermal and most things are either primary or secondary weakest to kinetic or thermal apart from maybe drones and apart from minmatar and if we get either of them then we can reload again it only takes 10 seconds i'm assuming this will be rather difficult assaulting the main base of a pirate faction is never easy even in a varger in the broken state they are in, in EVE Online. Orb drive active. Oh, this is an Edencom system, so I hope anyone running this epic arc does not have negative standings with Edencom. If you do, don't do this arc. <laughs> this is the kind of lack of attention to detail at CCP that really annoys me. Having Edencom systems in systems where you do epic arcs is just st stupid. Okay, we've landed right on an acceleration gate. No initial defender, so we'll just pop straight in. Orb drive active. I'm presuming that this is going to dump us into the middle of a very large ball of enemies. Otherwise, it would not have given us an acceleration gate, so we could have chosen which distance to warp in at. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, how far away are they? Just about spot on, so let's bastion up, lock up battle cruisers first, and the cruisers after that, and we'll just start hammering at them. Luckily, they look like serpentists and mercenaries, so phase plasma was the right thing to do. Bastion, please, and there we are. And the blurb says the underground circus, depravity, consumption, and the pleasures of the flesh are big business throughout New Eden. 
These desires are even more profitable in society's fringe, the gutters and ghettos of the empires, the borderlands and the dark pockets of empty space. When law, ethics and customs are of little concern, any service can be provided. Any object bought, though often at a very steep cost, even the underground has an economy. The supply and demand of desire. The underground circus is home to just such decadence, straddling the boundary between the legal and the illicit. The ringmaster runs this operation and she is shrewd enough to know how to keep herself under the radar. Or maybe her circus remains open at the whim of some greater authority in order to fulfil the desires of corrupt law enforcement agencies. Interesting. Would it be nice if you got that blurb back in the first gate before you come in here and land in the big ball of enemies? If I wasn't in a Vargur and able to tank this easily, I'd have no time to read that, I'd just close it. Again, something else that needs to be fixed. Yeah, and they've all got named, ass assuming this is all the local gangs, the consumption junkies, the sinful saints and the lust adores. And I think I'm just gonna plink away at the guys in the back now, just to aggress them. Just to bring them a bit closer, because they're a little bit too far away from my liking. I'd like them to come closer so our tracking gets better. There we go. Even though we're missing quite a lot, because they're right on the edge of our range. And we'll just start looting the field as well. Because we can. We have the technology. Might as well make use of the Marauders tractor beam bonuses. We don't do it very often in this ship. Yeah, and this cruiser does not want to die. Oh, that's just why, that's why he's elite. I did wonder why it was taking so long for him to die. And now we know. Oh yeah, you got some decent loot here. 600,000 for that. And 479,000 for that. Nice. And another 641,000 for that. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Let's smash the battle cruisers. Lock up more wrecks. Out of tractor beam range. How annoying. Right, let's just kill the battleships then. That's within tractor beam range. There we go. I think I'm just going to turn Bastion off and head towards the acceleration gate. We are in absolutely no danger so far in this mission. Nothing worth keeping there. Let's shoot the next battleship. Give it a squirt of the micro warp drive. Good, that's now within tractor beam range. Something worth keeping there, that's fine. I'll we'll just turn the shield off and micro warp drive for a little while. And another one of these. Good. Getting a moderate amount of loot. And there's something good. Half a million for that. Thank you. And we'll stop the ship right here. Pop the bastion. A module has run out of charges. A module has run out of charges. I was about to say. A module say. has run out of charges. We're about to run out of ammo, and we have. Wow. That's also something that doesn't happen very often in Navargar. Usually we kill everything before we run out of ammo. And that's the last battleship. And we know that these guys are elite, or at least the first one was. Yeah, these guys are elite, so they're going to take some killing. Or maybe not. We are on a Vargar. There is a difference between plinking away with one weapon at the extremity of your range and being in Bastion mode at perfect range. It's beautifully illustrated right there. That is the difference. And we've actually got time to loot the whole field. Lovely. We just approach the gate, turn the shield off, let the cap regenerate a little bit. And another one of these. Man, that's some good loot. How much into all this? And that, and that, and that, and that. Three billion? Well, I'll say good loot. Yeah, it all adds up. Right, let's get through Let's this gate. Active. Turn the shield back on. Cap's gone back up to about a third. That's fine. 
Then the ringmaster says, I am a Galenti citizen and I have done nothing wrong. Why are the FIO, that's the Federal Intelligence Office, punishing their own people? They frequent my circus as much as any other patron. You can tell these Black Eagle bastards that if they want their cut, they'll have to call you off. Black Eagle is a subdivision of the FIO and we're being jumped by a massive fleet. So let's lock up the cruisers and battle cruisers and get to work. And then we'll scroll down and read the rest. She says, I don't know anything about the Pator 6 or any kidnapping. Even if I did, you would never get it out of me. I'll never give anything back to those hypocrites. Alright, so... I'll just kill you all then. That's fine. Oh, and the third fleet has appeared over here. That's fine. Because it's mainly battle cruisers, and as we know, battle cruisers explode. They explode very happily. Just like so. More loot. ship is gone. That's worth keeping. Nothing else is. Okay, so how do we get the ringmaster? Blow up the pleasure hub? I don't know. I will approach it. I'm not seeing any cargo cannon. She definitely wasn't in any of these wrecks. Do we just approach the pleasure hub until it's closer than 50? 50 is too close to the maximum range of our guns. I don't want to be missing a, a target like this. Just get to within about 30 or 25 and then stop Pop Bastion and demolish it. Oh, pleasure yacht. Very swanky. There's another one there, and another one there, and another one there. How imaginative. Right, that's close enough. Let's stop. And Bastion up. Start shooting this thing. Well, this station is going down nice and quick. And hopefully, we'll get the ringmaster out of this. Come on. Come on. Out you come. Aha! We've persuaded you to come out at last. We'll snag that and we'll destroy her. Is she elite? Yes, she is. One million esque bounty. An elite cruiser. Pop! And now you're dead. What's in the cargo can? Drugs, of course it is. 
Of course it is. And we'll unpop Bastion and reload the guns. Drag this wreck in. There she is. Got her. And now we're going back to the agent. So let's go. Once Bastion's finished, let's go. There we can go. Warp drive active. Okay, we're back with the agent. Let's hand this mission in. And let's request the next one. And the agent says, After a bit of interrogation, the ringmaster gave us the information we're looking for. Funny, we barely put any effort into it. She succumbed pretty quickly. Oh well, since we have her in custody, we'll use her for more questioning later, just as soon as she's rested up and ready for another round. Anyway, based on her information, we've learned of a nearby Intaki settlement that has some loose association with the Pator Six. You know what the Intaki are like, one big mess of criminals. I don't believe the lies they tell us in the media. All Intaki are part of the Syndicate, directly or not. If it were up to me, I'd lock all the Intaki up for good, or maybe just send them all back to their cesspool of a home planet. Go to Pamin and find those Intaki. Keep an eye out for the Pator Six, and report back with any information you receive about the Senator's son. You may have to open fire on their settlements in order to get them to talk. If you run into any opposition, use force. You have the authorities on your side. Okay, so we are going three jumps over. We're being paid 8 million and it's 1.29 more if we do it within six hours. I'm going to take this opportunity to refit for a much bigger tank than what we have. Because we're hunting the Pator 6 and we know at the end of the last episode we got jumped by them and came very close to being in panic stations. So let's accept the mission. We'll go and refit at the nearest station. And I will see you in the Pamim solar system. Okay, we're in the mission system and before we walk to the mission, I'll take you through what I've done to the fit. We've changed it to four 1400mm howitzers, a micro jump drive, so we're going to be sniping. An extra large shield booster too. A second multi-spectrum shield hardener too. A shield boost amplifier too. And some cap flux coils to keep it cap stable, only just. And we've had to replace the Tech 2 large cap battery with a compact because the fit is extremely tight on CPU and indeed on power grid, but mostly CPU. As we see, if we simulate this, our DPS has gone down from 2225 or whatever it was with the 800 millimeters down to 1631. I mean, 1631 is still pretty damn impressive. Although we have lost all of our damage application modules. We've had to take them off. This is all about the tank. See the resistances, minimum one is 73, maximum 82, no real big holes. And we, with Bastion on, it's repping 498.2 hit points a second. If this doesn't survive, then there really is no hope. Because I have terrible memories of the end of the last episode, and I don't want that to happen again. At least there's a lot less micromanagement to do on this. There's only three active modules. Worst comes to the worst, we can overheat the hardeners and overheat the shield booster, but if it comes to that, then all is lost anyway. Let's see. Okay, Dead Space Area. And we have a message from the Intake saying, Please, what more do you want from us? The Black Eagles have harassed us enough since we moved in here. We're not criminals, we're just poor folk struggling to survive. Even though we're in Taki, we're still Federation citizens. Why would they insist on treating us like we're not? Mercy, please, we beg for mercy. Well, sorry guys. I need to shoot you. Okay, nothing yet. It won't be for a while because our weapons have got a huge cycle time because we're not in bastion mode because I do want to be able to move as soon as the bad guys appear. Oh, man, 11,977. That's the best single hit I've ever done in my life. Okay, let's finish this thing off. 
Bang. Okay, they're gone. Well, you know what? They're at quite good range anyway. So let's pick off the cruisers. And turn the shield tank on and see how bad this gets. And it says, warning. If you want the kid to live, you will not pursue us any further. Tell the Black Eagles to call off their guards or they will pay dearly for interfering with our business. You have been warned. Well, I'm going to ignore that and shoot you. So far, so good. These battleships are making me nervous. At least it didn't spawn right on top of us like it did at the end of the last episode. And the cruisers are going down fairly easily. These battleships are approaching extremely quickly. Yowza! Yeah, these guys are coming on fast, man. Real fast. Uh-oh. Reinforcements. That's not good. We need to take out all the battleships that are on the yellow boxing, because the tank is absolutely fine as it is right now. It's good that they're yellow box, that means they're on direct approach, so their angular velocity is minimal, so we're hitting them really hard, even though we have absolutely no tracking enhancers or tracking computers. Just our native skills. Right, this one is yellow box. I want to hit them in distance order, closest to furthest away. Good, very good. And yellow box, of course, means that they're not firing at us yet because they're still closing range. They are travelling about a thousand metres a second though. So they are going to get into range pretty soon, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Now nah, we're starting to miss them though, because they're under our guns. As we see, the tank is beginning to struggle. As soon as this one's dead, we're going to shoot the ones that are furthest away. So we should be able to tank one of these guys that's hitting us quite hard. Yeah, let's see, I don't think our habits are, are going to hit that. Nope, so let's stop firing at it. Okay, change your plans. Now, oh, the frigates are too small for us to hit, I think. They're too far away anyway. So, we'll, we'll reload. And we'll shoot at the two red box battleships that are further away to take their DPS off the field. Because if we want to micro jump drive to pull range, we'll have to turn Bastion off and that means the tank will suffer. As we're spooling up, so I'd rather...
beautiful. Beautiful. Now, what do we think? Is attacking this guy going to spawn more? I kind of want to head... Right, I'm going to turn Bastion off and go straight upwards. Reload the guns. Because I want to pull range away from these guys. Big time. Okay, let's go. It's the best thing about Marauders. You get really quick cooldown on your micro jump drives. None of this three minute, my mark. It's like a minute or something. Yeah, 51 seconds. Right, let's stop the ship. Turn the tank on. And shoot the battleships in distance order. We'll shoot this big Dominix first. Yeah. We'll do the two Dominixes. This is where the mob... Let's turn Bastion on, you idiot. This is where the mobility of Marauders really comes into its own when you're sniping. So you can micro jump drive and pull, pull away and just smash things from range. Of course, these missions were designed before we had toys like this. As I've said countless times before, missions have not been updated in many years, ships and modules have. The advantage of the power creep is most definitely with the players. Right, let's take out the yellow box ones because they'll be on approach. This would have been extremely scary if we'd not been able to just disappear a hundred kilometers. Because we wouldn't have been able to pull range very quickly anyway, because these guys are doing about a thousand. So if we were doing 1200, we'd only be pulling away at 200 meters a second. It'd take forever to open up range. And of course, all the time we're moving, we're not in Bastion mode. The tank would be taking a right pounding. Well, that should have been updated because that no longer exists. And there we go. Now you've destroyed them. Good. That's the end of the mission, apparently. Phew. Good choice to refit the ship. And the final bad guy is dead. Right, that was good. That could have gone so much worse. Refitting the ship was an excellent choice. And I think we'll reconvene for the next episode of when we'll hand in this mission and then get the next one and carry on with the arc. Hope you enjoyed this and I hope you come back for the next one. Until then, take very good care of yourself. I'll talk to you again soon.